It is Thursday, and I am gonna set you down really quick first and get out a bowl. I am making ramen, and it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I already had breakfast, but now I want something tangy, and I put tahini and hot sauce in my ramen, and it is chef's kiss. Um, but yes, it is Thursday, and I am 15 weeks pregnant. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. Can't believe we're already here. We're 15 weeks already. Um, we went and saw the baby on Friday, and he looks so good. So I heard his heartbeat for the first time. I don't know if I even mentioned this. Um, what am I doing in there? So, or heard his heartbeat. We saw him. Um, we waited for a sonogram. And it was magical. I didn't get a picture of it though. That kind of sucked, but I'm just happy I got to see my son. And yeah, so symptoms. Any any new symptoms that I have? My headaches have been awful. <laughs> so I started. I decided to start taking magnesium. So um, I've taken it two days in a row now. So far, I haven't had any headaches, but it could just be just whatever um but we'll see as i take it as i take it if i get headaches um but i a lot of people online have said that magnesium works wonders for their headaches slash migraines so there's that um hmm, i'm not really tired anymore my sleep is a lot is a lot better i've been sleeping on my back which i know is okay until your third trimester um I have been a little nauseous, but nothing like, nothing like crazy. Um, I didn't know this was a symptom and I loathe, loathe doing this and it's sneezing and I freaking sneeze all the time. I cannot stand it. Oh, the inside of my nose is cracked and it hurts and it kind of triggers sneezing. Hate that for me, but yeah, pretty uneventful um i scheduled my anatomy scan the they don't do it until you're 21 weeks so that isn't until april 18th my next appointment is um march 25th um and i'll be 18 weeks then S or yeah 18 weeks so yeah i'm excited i don't think i've shown you guys my bump at all and here's the thing i haven't really gained any weight I just kind of maintained it, but I don't know. I guess I guess it looks like I have a little bit of a bump, but honestly, to me, this doesn't look any different than just eating a really big meal. <laughs> and like my um, my scale doesn't um, show any different. So he su he sits super low. He's like down here. Um, I do have a lot of urges to pee a lot. I'm also not wearing a bra because, so lucky you guys. Um, I, what was I going to say? I also get the urge to pee a lot, but I never really have to pee. So that's wonderful. I think he he's sitting super low, so maybe he's just like up against it. But I mean, he's only 15 weeks, so I haven't felt him kick yet. Um, so hopefully soon we'll see. Um, I don't know. I sometimes like I feel like bubbling, and I know that that could be like the flutters or the butterflies, which could be him. But again, I don't know, and it doesn't happen consistently, so I don't know if that's that's actually him. My stomach is getting a little hard. My ramen is about to be done in the microwave. I got this ramen pasta cooker. Um, you're gonna see it. Oh, I wasn't supposed to leave that on, but that doesn't matter. I was so distracted I left the lid on, but you're not supposed to leave the lid on. Just got this from Amazon, and it's amazing that we don't have to, like, um, wait for water to boil. So, yeah, I only have, like, a little bit of broth. I think that should be good. I haven't figured that out yet. But, yeah, this is technically my second breakfast. My first breakfast was some peanut butter. It was some toast with peanut butter and cinnamon on it. So, um, 
gonna prop you up real quick. So, I've been loving this freaking concoction. You know, when I was for when I like in the beginning of my pregnancy, I mean, I'm still kind of like in the beginning of my pregnancy. I ate ramen all the time. It was like the only thing that I absolutely loved. So, and I got the chicken flavor. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then I put um, just a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Oh, not a little, but like also not a ton. Enough to make it a little, a little spicy. And then the amount of tahini I put in here. Listen, if I don't see tahini like on my noodles, it's not enough. And I love to drink the broth at the end. I'm like salivating just thinking about it. It is so freaking good. I got some seasoning like on the side of the bowl. I don't like that very much for me. Oh my god, I'm like drooling right now thinking of it. So like I put a ton in, I mix it, and then I top it with some more tahini. So freaking good. Um, but yeah. So, Connor and I, I don't know if I should even talk about this right now because I want to eat and I don't want to slurp and eat. And I'm sure you don't want to hear that either. But, Connor and I are thinking about building another new home. Um, because this, the house that we have now is just way too small. It's going to be too small once baby gets here. So, we're seriously thinking about it. So, we've been looking at builders. Well, online. I think we're gonna, we might look at one tonight. He was talking about going to a builder tonight. Um, there's one literally right around the corner from us that I was looking at it. The price is good. The square footage is good. And it's something that we can actually afford, even though like house, housing prices have definitely gone up. But thankfully, our yearly annual salary has. So that helps a lot. Because when we purchased this house, we were only making like maybe 70000 a year, and now we're making way more than that, so that's good. And this house is so small. Like, the square footage is like 1700 and I feel like maybe it's just like the layout. Well, like, it doesn't look like we have a lot of room um, at all to like move. Like, move around. Like, it's very congested. But like, if you were to look at somebody else's house... Like especially like a single family or a single story, 1700 like is a freaking lot. So I think it's just like our um, our floor plan that just sucks. Mmm, so good. Mmm, so good. Oh, it's so tangy. Oh my God, I love this. But yeah, that's kind of what we're doing now. Um, but the thing is, we can't really sign anything right now. Well, we could, but I don't want to. Houses typically take about six, seven months to build here in Vegas. And I'm doing six months. So, I don't want to move right when the baby gets here. I'd rather move, like, two or three months after he's here. That way, it's not all a crap ton at once, you know what I mean? So, this time around, we're just doing our due diligence. We're looking at different models. We're looking at different builders. Um, we're looking at different areas, even though I really like this area that we're in. That's why we're going to go look at the builder that's right around the corner from us. But we're actually going to do more research this time because when we built this house, I mean, we vlogged it. Um, this was the only builder that we saw. So... We didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into, but now we kind of know the second time around. We also know like the mistakes that we're gonna fix when building the new house. Like, um, like our flooring. We love the color of our tiles, but the grout is the issue. We chose a light grout and it's dark but it's not even consistently. Like you can see right here, it's light. And then over here, it's dark because of like the traffic and stuff. Um, and it's gross. 
And it's not, we don't clean our floors, we do. It's just that it just, like, gets fucking dirty, so. Um, and then, it, like, it wouldn't look bad if, the, if all of the tile grout looked like that, but it doesn't. <laughs> so that's, like, one of the one things that we're going to do differently. Um, we're probably going to actually have them paint because we said we were going to hire somebody to paint, and we still haven't, and we've been in the house for two and a half years. Uh, two years so yeah it's kind of exciting we just I want to get pre-approved this time to like know the max loan amount we can go up to so that's another thing we got to do but yeah Connor is gonna be getting his NMLS license which is for basically loan origination which is really exciting that's why he's getting he's getting a raise because of that so, it's going to be awesome. That's why we're going to be able to afford a bigger house. Like, we could now. But, obviously, I want to make sure, like, everything is good to go and set in stone. But, yeah. Okay, I'm, I just wanted to come on here and say hi. But now, I really want to focus on these noodles because they deserve my full attention. So, I'll see you guys later. Hello, welcome back. My lips look weird because I don't have any color on them, but whatever. Um, I, it, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. Um, last week I didn't film at all for my 16 week um, like check-in. I'm 17 weeks now and I'm not in a good mood, you can tell that. <laughs> This week, this week sucks. It's not a good week for me. Um, well, last week kind of sucked too. Last week, I had a headache basically all week. And then, I mean, going into this week too, yesterday, I had the headache. Um, but it was like tolerable. Today, I don't have it, so that's good. The magnesium hasn't been helping. Actually, I didn't take it last night, and now I don't have a headache, so interesting. Um, my neck and face mismatched. Don't come at me. I don't care. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yes, or last week, I had a constant, that was Alpha. I had just, like, a constant headache. I felt awful. Um... So I just didn't even want to do anything. So I didn't even want to film or anything. Um, and last week I was told that I'm going to be moving departments at work. Um, because one of the higher ups that I used to work with when I was at Wells Fargo. He wants me to work for him. Um, and help create like a standardized process for something. I don't even know what the heck to do. So I'm stressed. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm really stressed. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm like trying not to cry because I just put it on makeup. So that's the thing too. Like with this whole new um, department, they do a lot of Zoom calls. So I'm, I can't look like crap anymore. Um, which is fine because today I have to take my 17 week bump photo. Um, so might as well just get ready anyways. But um, yeah, work has been really stressful. It's not, str it's stressful, but it's not, it's more frustrating than anything because I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any clear direction on what I'm doing. So I don't really know what my role is right now. I have no freaking clue. So there's that. Um, yeah. And like, part of me is just like worried that like the baby is not doing okay. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just having like a moment of like. Um, uh, pregnancy anxiety because I don't know I've seen or I've heard some people have been able to like feel their baby at 17 weeks I feel like I felt him but I, I'm not 100% sure so I don't know um, I'm just not in a good mood it's not it's, it's, it hasn't been a fun week and it's not a fun 
this week either um, because my manager or my old manager I should say I should she told me to call her so I called her and she's like yes yeah, so officially you're gonna be over in servicing and I'm like cool cool uh, she knows out she knew I was pregnant she was pretty lenient about like my appointments because I get my nails done I get my hair done so like I clock in early sometimes and then um with my doctor's appointment she just kind of like let me go because I'll just like make up the time um so I'm really curious how that's gonna go because they haven't actually told me I'm only hearing this from my manager and even then like it's supposed to be hush hush nobody in the company has announced that I am officially going over to servicing so I don't actually know who my manager or boss is to even tell them like yo I'm 17 weeks pregnant um yeah <laughs> to like let them know like if you guys schedule a zoom call at this time I ain't gonna be there because I got a doctor's appointment and you guys can go suck it because I'm not rescheduling a doctor's appointment because of this stupid shit. So, I don't know. I'm just frustrated. I'm frustrated. I'm not having a good time right now. Um, it'll all it'll all work out in the end. It's just getting to that point. This has to be hormones. Like, why the fuck am I crying? <laughs> like, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that serious, Amanda. It has to be the freaking hormones. It has to be. That's my only excuse. But okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, so I stopped talking and stopped crying about it. So just wanted to check in with you and hope you guys are having a good week and a good day. So. Bye.